from the rolling hills of Lawrence County, Tennessee, this is Hoyt's Kitchen with Hoyt and Susie Tidwell. Good evening. Welcome to Hoyt's Kitchen. This evening we're going to do a loaded cauliflower casserole. It can be found on page 87 in Hoyt's Volume 1 cookbook. Volume 1 cookbook on page 87. All right, first of all, I'm going to wash my hands. And, uh, get my hands good and clean now. We, uh, It says two pound of uh, cauliflower uh, florets. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna wash uh, wash your cauliflower and uh, get it steaming. Does it say whose recipe that is, too? Uh, I've got my water, water going on the stove, so. Uh, we're gonna steam this cauliflower for about five minutes, it says. And uh, then it'll be done. So we're going to go cauliflower up and let it uh, let it stain. Raw cauliflower. Mm. All right, we got some boiling water over here. And uh, it says turn your oven on to uh, what temperature? 350. Turn your oven on to 350. All right, we got it on 350. And uh, then we're gonna, it says uh, four tablespoons of uh, heavy whipping cream. Mm -hmm. And one pack of, uh, one pack of sharp cheddar cheese. One, two, three, Four. Sharp cheddar, one eight ounce package, Monterey Jack, one eight ounce package, and a pack of cream cheese, eight ounce pack of cream cheese. And we're gonna put that in here. Uh, have you, uh, have you zoomed in on them tomatoes, Mom? Yes, I have. Actually, they're in, You could, they can see them in this video. Really? Mm-hmm. Those are some homegrown tomatoes by the 
Mennonites. Mennonites. Uh, so it says cream. Cream all this together. So that's what we're going to do here. Do you have your green onions chopped up? No, I don't. I got my bacon bit, but I don't have my green onions. So. Bacon bit. It calls for six slices of bacon cooked well, and crumbled, but. That's crumbled. Uh, my, uh, Green onions. I'm going to wash these green onions. And uh, turn that heat down a little more. You want to read a scripture while I'm mm -hmm. dicing these up? It says, pay attention, be sober-minded, be alert. It's in 1 Peter 5, 8. Uh, Y'all didn't know it, you know, we, uh, we have a volume two cookbook now, and it can be purchased on our website. Show them a picture of volume two, babe, hold on. Here it is right here. There it is, folks. Volume two. That's the front. And there's the back. That's... Mm, that enough? Oh, that's... Hmm? You're way good on the onions for my way part. Way good on onions on her part, so... Anyway, it says, uh... Cream all this together. And then what does it say, do, babe, when you get all this... And set aside, then it says, drain any liquid from the steamed cauliflower and then add it to the mixture. Add it to the mixture? Mm-hmm. Well. And then... This ain't creaming too well, but I bet it will when that hot. Yeah. I bet it will when that hot uh, cauliflower. Is that still? Oh, what you take it off? Honey, that's not done, sweetie. Oh, yeah. Hmm? Yeah. It's good and steamed. All right, it's good and steamed. It says drain, drain. All right, it's drained. All right, there she is, put, put them in there. So there that is.
Mm. I should have done this earlier, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you learn by doing. But anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix this Get up. That, that mm -hmm. stem right there. What? I'm gonna mix this up. Well, it smells good. It smells real good. So what do we do now? Put it in the baking dish. All right, we're gonna put her in the baking dish. Put some salt and pepper on it. Well, uh, I guess people have seen my strawberries, huh? I'm sure they have. Salt and pepper. Pepper and salt. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be yummy, yummy here in about 30 minutes, 25. 25 minutes. Tell you what. All right, we're going to put her in a three to four, three to four quart. Pan. See the cover with foil. Cover with foil. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna cover it, cover it with foil. And we're gonna put it in the oven and let it bake for Cover with foil. And in the oven it goes. To bake for 25 minutes. 25 minutes. So there you go. We'll see you here in about 25 minutes and we'll get a taste of it. We got our granddaughter over here. She'll she'll be wanting to try some of it. So we'll see you in about 25 minutes. Thanks. All right, welcome back to Hoyt's Kitchen. So we've cooked this for 25 minutes, taken the foil off and uh, cooked it till it's bubbly. So it's bubbly and we're gonna take it out and try it. So, uh, yes, it's bubbly. Bubbly, can you get down on that? You 
got it zoomed in. Look at this nice rosy red tomato. We're gonna have a rosy red tomato. Uh, all right, we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna try this and we're gonna say, volume two cookbook is ready for order. You can get it on <clears throat> the website and uh, we're gonna try this. So, uh, guys keep watching and I'll keep cooking. God bless.